Hello everyone, as you can tell, I am inside the house for a change. So, I just wanted to share with you what I have actually brought. So, I got myself some lettuce, um, some nasturtium. So, the reason I actually got this is, uh, as you can tell by the tag, it is basically a really good companion for, uh, uh, what has it got here? Broccoli, pumpkin, zucchini, tomatoes and potatoes. So one of the things that um, I did actually do some research on is that these are really, really, really good to help um, attract bugs to these. So that instead of the bugs getting on to say your broccoli, they're going to actually go after these instead. And then you can control the bugs on these. Um, obviously, I think the flowers are edible as well. Um, so um, yeah, basically just a really good companion for other plants. Uh, I've got some cucumber and then uh, this one I got just slightly discounted. It is very similar to bok choy. Um, the name is Tatsun. Tatsun? Yeah. So, or Tatsoi. I think um, the short name for it is um, Tat Choy or something. But anyway, it's like a bok choy. Um, good for um, stir fries and salads, that sort of thing. So. I uh, thought I would add that to a um, couple of the pots, um, just simply because why not? Um, I love my stir fries. So what I'm aiming at here anyway is that I wanted to have some cucumbers growing and I wanted to be able to harvest my own lettuce. And um, I've already got tomatoes growing, so my main thing was to be able to go outside and harvest a couple of things to be able to make a tossed salad. Um, since I'm in here and it's at the table, um, you may have uh, heard me talking about my husband decided to um, harvest a um, bit of celery leaf and I think he used the tiny, tiny, tiny stalk bits of the celery as well that nine times out of ten don't get chopped up and um, I think he actually tried a little bit of carrot skin there too that you can see. So he dried out the celery leaf and um, he's added, added the pink salt with it after it's been dried out. You can see how dry that is. So he just used the oven to dry the celery and the carrot. And then he uh, used the, what was it? Food processor. Food processor. And then mortar and pestle. And then mortar and pestle to um, get it into a fine crumble. And yeah, then he added it with the pink salt. So this is like... Um, a vegetable salt and um, I actually I have it on my chips I have it on my meat I have it on everything because it is delicious so if you're growing your own um, celery I would actually highly recommend you dry out your leaves and um, crumble it up as best you can and mix it through with um, your preferred salt um, and just add it to your table and when you're sitting at the table and you're having your food sprinkle some on there try it on some hot chips or meat or whatever you like to have um i think it's a really great addition so as you can see i've got some work uh to do today um so i better get out and do it i will actually do a video follow-up as to where these are planted and um yeah, go from there. So hope everyone's having a beautiful day and I will talk to you in the next video.